So what happens when adversity hits or the things that you wanted to happen don't go as planned or it doesn't happen as fast as you want it to happen? So A, most of the time when that happened to people, and me too, you get frustrated and you, fit, you, you get in your feelings a little bit. You're like, come on now. But really, what if that's just redirecting you to God saying, hey, call on me for everything that you need. Call on me for everything that you want. Call on me for everywhere you're trying to go. Now, you call on me, which is God, and he's saying, I'll take you anywhere you're trying to go. But you got to call on me first. Don't call on me second. Don't call on me third. Don't call on me fourth, fifth, or way down the line. Call on me first. So what if everything that you really want to happen in your life, whatever it may be, it ain't really that verse that just throw you off or the setback. It's the way you looking at it and who you calling on. So what I'm saying really is call on God first. Let him know all your plans. Let him know all your ideals. And then he's going to go before you and set up everything you need. He'll be telling you, when to do this, when to do that. And it'll, it'll play out just like he wants it to play out. Not the way we exactly want it, but it's going to benefit us anyways. So maybe it's just adversity is really redirecting us or not getting what we want. It's just really redirecting us. Ain't nothing else. Don't get your emotions involved, involved in it or anything. It's just redirecting you to connect with God more. So that's what I'm telling you. Go on, get your connection on.